It's four days since an explosion occurred at an illegal oil refining depot in a basic community in Imo State. Locals who were caught up in that blast were burnt beyond recognition. No fewer than three graves were dug by hired laborers at the scene of the explosion already filled with horrible stenches. Flip-flops, bags and clothing belonging to those who died still littered the ground, blackened by oil and soot. After more than six hours of waiting, a mass burial is being conducted here in our basic community in Ohaji Ebuema local government area of Imo State. Right behind me are local health workers fumigating the area to prevent any epidemic whatsoever from occurring here as a result of that incident. It's hoped that this fire incident that occurred here on Friday will serve as a deterrent to youths of this community who see bunkering as a means of survival. Imo State Governor Hope Uzadema is yet to visit the scene of the incident and has been widely condemned. But state officials believe the governor's visit may be seen as encouraging illegality. I will not think that a governor, knowing that these people committed heinous crime against, against the country and against all of us, I don't think that the governor should be in a hurry to go and celebrate that. When, the, when all this has been uh, done now, at the appropriate time, he could go there to maybe assess the situation. But I, I don't think that that must be a priority. We are talking about, about uh, criminals here. High unemployment and poverty in the oil producing Niger Delta have made illegal refining attractive, but with often deadly consequences. Locals resort to tapping crude oil from a web of pipelines owned by major oil companies and refined in makeshift tanks. There are those who think the talents of these residents could be harnessed. For me, this is a leadership burden, to be honest with you. Uh, if you go through the story of China, and I always say this to people, China started by producing fake products. But leadership thought amongst themselves and said no. Wait a minute, these young men have something going for them. They have this natural intellect. So as leadership, let's put them through proper training. In biology, there's something we call phenotype. And uh, phenotype means that you have a combination of your genes and your environment. If your environment is wrong, there is no how you can have very good phenotype. So these guys that are into bunkering, they have something going for them. They have this natural intellect. It's not easy to do bunkering. They have this technological know-how. So leadership is a leadership burden. Leadership should not bring these guys together. Put them through proper training. Before you know it, these young men will start producing modular refineries. I want to tell them as a government, they should come up, if they are so expertise to, be, to know how to refine crude oil uh, uh, locally, the government is ready to come up with a trend that will make them legitimate and they register as a businessman and own their own modular refineries. You must take government with a know our governor, he will do that. So I advise them to come up with a proposal to say we can, we can we know how to do this. No government will arrest them. What we do, we reform them from the criminal way to regional way. They own their own modular refineries. After speaking with several locals here who would rather remain anonymous, they were mind-blowing disclosures. This forest is always a bustling hive of activity during the night hours with no less than 20 million naira made daily. Of course, they say this can't be achieved without the collaboration of security agents in the area. They say while some security agents own makeshift tanks for refining crude themselves, some are paid heavily to allow for free passage of these products. With a litany of military and police checkpoints leading to the affected community, many wonder how offenders have managed to escape their prying eyes. Again, they say happenings here would have remained unknown save for the explosion. Many people do not believe this incident will put people off from carrying out this illegal activity until the government improved the standard of living. Abel. Hey, Arise News.